Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Happy Monday. I hope you guys are doing good today. So we got to talk about all of this mess, honey, with Holly Bailey and her baby daddy, DDG. So as you guys and I did a video, I believe like a week and a half ago, like around Christmas, where I said that it was clearly apparent that this girl had given birth. Okay, I know pregnant milk filled titties when I see them. The way she was trying to slowly sit down, you could tell she gave birth. We heard the baby crying in the background, but yet and still, DDG and Holly decided to keep, you know, gaslighting the public and acting like she didn't give birth. Then all of a sudden, nobody, nobody at all. Here comes Holly Bailey with an announcement. So this is what she wrote the other day on Instagram. So on DDG's page, he wrote the name of their son. They named him Halo, and he also posted a music video. And if you blink twice, you'll literally miss it, but in the music video, he's holding his son. So that was his announcement. Let me use my baby as a prop. Meanwhile, Holly on her page, she wrote this. She says, even though we are a few days into the new year, the greatest thing that 2023 could have done for me was bring me my son. Welcome to the world, my halo. The world is desperate to know you. So this announcement did not sit well with a lot of people, including myself. I do like the name. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure the name has gassed up Beyonce because we all know her song, Halo. Um, I think that's a really cute name, actually. On top of that, her sister, Chloe, she took to the same post and she wrote, crying so hard right now. I'm the proudest sister on the planet. Okay, all right. So anyways, this is what I wrote on Instagram. I said, um, girl, in other news, water is wet. Stop gaslighting the public and go breastfeed your baby. The attention seeking that these celebs go for, no, no bounds, shake my head. And please stop comparing her to Kylie. Kylie literally hid and made everyone sign NDAs. And Travis Scott also stayed out the way as well. These two wanted people to keep guessing and following them and would be going off and cussing folks out like the public was crazy. They are meant for each other, two clowns. Anyways, I'm glad he's healthy. I like the name, and I'm sure Beyonce is gassed about the name as well. So that is what I wrote. Um, I'm just not feeling this whole thing. I feel like this. At the end of the day, like I've been telling y'all, I don't follow Holly and, and Chloe. Um, they're not my age brackets. I didn't grow up with them on the Disney Channel and whatever else they were doing. So I found out more about them through this whole drama, right, with the pregnancy. I never knew who DDD was, DDG, excuse me. Um, cause it looks like he caters to like a young high school fan base. I don't know. I just don't watch gamers like that. So for me, I felt like, okay, well she's grown. What is the big deal? Why is everybody so obsessed? Even if she's pregnant or not pregnant, why do y'all care? Ain't this girl like 23? This is not a teen pregnancy. And then people are like, no T, you got to do more research. Um, you know, he's very jealous of her. He's not really a good person. He was dating Ruby Rose. So I went to do more research and a lot of the things that people were telling me when I would do my live streams about DDG and their relationship was very concerning. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys these clips really quick um, from another channel that they had put together concerning their relationship. Y'all go ahead and check this out. We've been hashed the situation out days ago. Ruby just clout chasing. To which Ruby responded, You call me every time you see me with a new Nicar talking shit about them. I'm single BC. I don't play that set. You know that. That's why you went to the calm girl who will put up with it. By calm girl here, Ruby obviously meant Holly. And staying true to the calm girl narrative, all Holly had to say about this messy drama was, the devil is working. Lol, please don't feed into the lies, especially from a third party. But if you thought DDG was done embarrassing our girl Hallie, then you are seriously mistaken. A normal boyfriend should support his girlfriend during her biggest career moments, right? Well, DDG apparently missed that memo. Right around when The Little Mermaid was set to be released, DDG started clowning around again, insulting the movie, and trying to bring Hallie down. On the movie premiere day, DDG basically bashed the movie, tweeting, Reading, should I watch the cartoon of The Little Mermaid before I watch the live action version? Or just watch the new one? I never seen it. He then made another post dismissing the movie as not a real movie. Like, what type of nasty attitude is that? Oh, but it gets worse. 
It turns out the reason why he was acting so pressed on the day the movie was released was that he was jealous. Yes, DDG was jealous of Halle's fame and her chemistry with her co-star. In press interviews and pictures of Halle and her Little Mermaid co-star, Jonah Howard King, you can see how both of them share an easy friendship and chemistry that had fans wishing Jonah was Holly's man instead of you-know-who. DDG got so pained that he went on his burner to rant. They really think this Nod's got the willpower to take DG girl, he's not him. He also made a whole song just to diss Holly and show the world how insecure he is. In the first verse of DDG's track, Famous, he said, filming a movie now you kissing dudes, and why is y'all holding hands in the photo? You know I'm insecure, that's a no-no. He goes on in the next verse to say, I've been so insecure that I be thinking you really be f***ing at you in movies with. Those lines say everything that needs to be said, honestly. God forbid a girl tries to do her job without expecting her boyfriend to record a diss track accusing her of cheating. It's obvious that despite all the drama, Hallie decided to stay loyal to her man. But that also explains why fans were so upset when the rumors of Holly being pregnant with DDG surfaced. The first proof was Holly being spotted in a video compilation of DDG's streaming channel first shared on X, formerly known as Twitter, appearing to have a baby bump and doing a little maternity waddle as she quickly walked by. Then of course, there are all these instances where it seems Hallie has suddenly developed a taste for baggy clothing. First, there was this TikTok video featuring her sister Chloe and a young fan, where her pink baggy shirt seems to be another clue that she is hiding a baby bump. Then there was this photo shoot that Hallie did with the Cosmopolitan where she wore some belly-revealing outfits that had a fan saying she never beating them pregnancy allegations. And the fans were not having it, as they still believe Holly being pregnant with DDG is bad news. One said, I think Holly is pregnant, and I hate that for her. Love this pregnancy glow. And another that said, Holly, you can't hide it anymore. Your cute little nose is spreading OMG. All right, so you guys just saw that video. So like I said, another thing that also bothered me with this situation is the gaslighting, okay? When you want to keep something hidden, you just stay out the public. And that's one thing I would say about Kylie Jenner. For her coming from the most photographed family in the world, they literally kept that pregnancy with Stormy under wraps. Like her friends, the NDAs, the media, people really, she stayed away. Your pregnancy has been the best kept secret of our generation. Like I'm not trying to keep a secret, I'm really doing this for myself. Like. This never, like your friends deserve awards. Because mm -hmm. seriously, now you know you have some real ones. Yeah. We kept seeing Holly. You know, she was promoting the Little Mermaid movie and, you know, they were everywhere. She'd be at the mall shopping for boots. So she was always getting seen. So I felt like they were using this as some type of ways to get views on his YouTube channel. On top of that, let's also not forget how they treated another pregnant person. Now you guys remember the situation with the pregnant salon with the pregnant salon owner and she was big and pregnant. So it's not like you know she was maybe 2 months and oh maybe Chloe or or Holly didn't know. Uh Holly definitely knew. And remember DDG, he took to his social media page and he accused this woman of racism. He said this place is racist towards black people. They kicked my girlfriend out while doing her nails. Please give them a one star. They don't deserve business. Perfect nails. And that is not what happened. And this woman was harassed relentlessly, sent death threats by all of his young, immature fans. And then um, on top of that, she ended up coming to social media and she spoke about it. And I felt really bad for this woman. So now to know, to have concrete proof that Holly was pregnant during this time, why would you put another pregnant woman through the stress of that? Especially being that she was not being racist to you. She was not accommodating to you and your late sister, which she has the right to do as a business owner. So the fact that this woman was pregnant, Holly was pregnant, DDG, you got a baby on the way, and you put undue stress on another pregnant woman is disgusting to me. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that video really quick. Somebody for her posted on Instagram, where's the page almost 2 million, she posted, they posted like, go to this business page and write one star reviews, which is okay. But they texting me so bad. 
now i get non-stop phone calls from uh, like different different states like first i didn't know what's happening i started to pick up the phone and people were saying racist burn on hell kill yourself i'm sorry fuck your business like and i got non-stop these calls non-stop reviews like they banded my all my business pages like yeah. they banded my all my business pages now i'm now i'm really scared just to go back to work tomorrow in the morning because i'm pregnant and you don't know what's gonna happen you know what if i'm gonna go to my work and random people you because you never know she's popular person and how many thousands of people now texting me calling me what i'm gonna do all right so you guys just saw that video now on top of that let's not forget when chloe jumped into the mix and was you know y'all better keep my sister's name out y'all's mouth when people were simply asking is she pregnant and i remember fox soul i think funky Daniva had said some stuff and he caught a lot of heat you know from this situation so y'all go ahead and check this and y'all better keep my sister's name out your mouth thank you amen amen, amen. hallelujah, hallelujah. Shit. Praise the Lord. you have to get me riled the hell up anyways love you we don't play about Hallie. no like what the heck all right so you guys just saw that video of chloe now, the thing that also annoyed me with Holly's gaslighting is if you guys remember, people were saying things like, you know, your nose is getting bigger. It's kind of spreading because that's what happens when you're pregnant. You know, your features get a little bit bigger, your boobs, your nose, your face, all that because you're carrying another life in your body. And, you know, instead of her not even addressing it, being that she wants to keep stuff so private and not for the social media, why not ignore that tweet? Why not ignore that comment? But instead, she tried to twist it, gaslight, and act like if you had any questions about her nose spreading, that somehow you hated black features or, you know, you were a featurist. It was just weird where she didn't even have to even comment back to this person. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Listen, if I see one more person say something about my nose one more time, it's going to be hell to pay. And you know why? Because I am black. I love my nose. What is you concerned about my nose for? Leave me the hell alone. All right, so you guys just saw that video and that just left a bad taste in my mouth because again, if you want to hide your pregnancy, that is your business. But stop trying to gaslight people and act like people are questioning the spreading of your nose, equating that to some type of black feature hate. So I thought that was crazy. And then let's not forget, it hasn't even been two days, like literally two days ago, DDG was going off on people on social media for asking him if he had a, a daughter. Then he came out with like a fake, you know, doll and was trolling people. So it's just like, to me, this whole situation is just tacky. And that's my personal opinion. I don't care who don't like it. I think the way they went about this was just tacky. When you want your privacy, then you act private. You don't keep trying to drop hints. You don't have a baby crying in the background. You, they were just doing all types of things. And it's at this point, I'm giving both of them a side eye. Bro, I don't know why, it, why people is like so invested in what I got going on or what we got going on. I'm um, like, bro, mind your business. Go outside, touch some grass, bro. Like, like, go do a cartwheel in your backyard or something. Like, it's it's weird, bro. Like, I don't, I genuinely don't be understanding. It's like, bro, why do y'all be so invested in people that don't know you? Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I love my supporters and shit, but in real life, bro, I don't know y'all. You gotta just let me live my life. Like, you don't go up, you don't look at your principal at your school and be like, damn, is she in a bad mood today? Did she argue with her dude today? What's going on with her today? Like, bro, why do you care so much? Whatever's going on in my life or her life, bro, it's not gonna change yours. That's in believe, bro. Get in the lab, go get some money. Like, let's, let's focus on ourselves, 2024. Bro, let's try to lock in on ourselves. I think Holly is no different than DDG. There's something there, you know, everybody feels like she's so much better than him. 
I think they're one and the same, especially after that salon situation. That really turned me off from her. So now today, um, I bet you anything they're going to do a, uh, they're going to pull a Kylie. Remember, Kylie did that 11 minute video called To Our Daughter. They're probably going to do the same type of video to their son. So now all of a sudden, the, the, this couple that want to keep everything private and didn't want folks in their business and everything else, now he's talking about the pregnancy and the labor journey. He's making TikTok videos talking about it. I, I just find this whole situation just rich. You know, two days ago, you were trolling everybody with a doll and trying to gaslight the public and act like the public was crazy for asking questions. Now you want to tell us about, you know, her giving birth in the hospital. No, sir. Keep the same energy. Keep us out the group chat and continue raising your child. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I seen him come out. I watched the whole thing. I was honestly scared because, you know, I, I was like, man... I don't really want to see this. You feel me? But I'm like, damn, at the same time, bro, like, I don't plan on having a a million kids. You feel me? Like, maybe down the line, or, you know, maybe one or two more, but like, I'm probably not going to see this again. So I went down there and I looked. It was the craziest shit I ever seen in my life, bro. I'm, listen, I give women, I have a newfound respect for women. Like, as as a dude, bro, we really got it easy, bro. I couldn't imagine pushing the baby on my P.O., bro. Like, after seeing that, bro, I'm like, oh, man, this is crazy. This is wild, bro. How we are born is amazing. Like, it's so crazy. It's so crazy, bro. I encourage anybody to experience this. Like, honestly, what you living for? I feel like this is what we put on this earth for to recreate and, and love. I feel like I found a whole new purpose in life. All right, so you guys just saw his video. So like I said, this entire situation to me was just tacky um, and unwarranted, and I stand by what I stated. Um, again, if you don't want attention, if you want to keep things private, then you keep them private. You don't keep trying to throw out dog whistles. You don't keep trying to throw out Easter eggs. You know what I'm saying? You just keep it moving. But again, congratulations to them on their happy, healthy baby boy. But, you know, the way they went about this to me was just really tacky, especially with what happened a few months ago with the Russian uh, pregnant salon owner as well. I really feel like he's doing a lot of this because he's a social media influencer. And that's honestly how he earns his money. He makes more money from YouTube videos than he does from his music. So he has to do these antics. He has to make these videos. He has to do all of this stuff and bring his fans into his life, you know, so that way he can get views and get a consistent check. So I think all this goes back to them just trying to get money because, again, Hollywood is dying. Those checks are not checking. The Little Mermaid movie was low-key a flop. Let's keep it real. I did go and I did watch it. I did support it. But, you know, it didn't do as well as some of the other movies. On top of that, you know, nobody's really checking for this man's music. Even the video that he put out only has like 200,000 views. This man has millions of followers and only 200,000 views on his video. Okay. So I think that's what they're doing now. They're seeing that the money's not money in. You know, people are saying that her having this baby might have affected her Disney career. I don't know. But I think now what they're probably going to end up doing is starting a baby channel and, you know, selling baby clothes and formula. They'll have a little baby Instagram channel, you know, all that stuff. So they're definitely going to milk this for what it's worth. So with that being said, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy situation concerning Holly and DDG. How do y'all feel about this situation? How do you guys feel about them lying all these months only to now come out and admit it? Make sure you guys hit that like button. Don't forget to share the video. Most importantly, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.